The night of the accident, I had got a phone call from uh, my baby brother. He actually was stranded on 75, and uh, the, the car was you know, pretty much dead. Pulled up behind him, I got out, and I said, okay, well, I said, well, you parked, and once the traffic clear, I pull around, and uh, turned around to make sure traffic was clear, and my eyes said it was clear for miles. And uh, I pulled out slowly, didn't put my seatbelt back on, because I knew that I was just gonna do this quick little turn. And I get out there, man, and um, out of nowhere, another uh, pickup truck just comes and just T-balls me. I received a phone call from his younger brother, and he called and he said, I have to um, let you know Vince was in an accident. Uh, I bust my head, got a gash from this temple all the way through. But the main damage was uh, my spinal cord was severed in my neck. It just kind of, you know, snapped my neck like that. And, uh, just shut everything down in like in a matter of seconds. Got word with the doctors. They called the whole entire family in and they stated to us that it was a possibility that he would be in a wheelchair for all his life. I wasn't sure if he had long-term memory problems, short-term memory problems. I was a little nervous about with that, but I went on ahead, went into the room. We were in the um, emergency room. They had cleaned him up and everything. And he smiled and he said, Hi, babe. I'm so grateful uh, to even be alive. You know, that was the, the miracle to, to get out of that vehicle alive. We got married in the chapel at Rim on her birthday. I said, Vince, what is the purpose of us waiting to get married? Let's do this. But she married me at my worst state. So today, uh, it's been, been two years. It was really fun because the nurses helped us keep it separate, where I stayed, you know, um, away from him that whole entire day. He was up there getting ready and everything, and all the nurses were excited. They all came down. I had only known her for two months, man, and uh, love at first sight. Rim really motivated me. All the people around and seeing the other uh, patients was just um, exactly where I needed to be, you know, and until this day, you know, you see a lot of other people like me, and they're inspiring me, they're moving forward, they're getting stronger. Nothing makes me more happier than to see somebody else succeed. There was one particular um, occupational therapist there. She pushed Vince to the T, and it was so funny. She would see things that we couldn't see, and she was like, oh, it's gonna work. You just gotta keep working at it, keep working at it. And I used to say, what is she talking about? <laughs> you know, because we don't see that. It was probably within a month, and the right arm start moving. They worked me, man. They, they, they worked me like never before. And, um, and my mindset, you know, there are things that I underestimated myself to, to being able to do. And they just always put me on this platform and this, they gave me this mindset like, dude, like, you, you're not weak. He is, and he's never complained. He never gives up. Been two years and I'm still waking up every day like is this the day you know this might be the day I might kick out the left leg right stretch and pop my back and you know, I mean I don't, I don't know how it's gonna happen but every day I'm looking forward to uh, major healing <laughs>